apparently we're live. Oh, how exciting. All right, so now we're just going to wait for a couple of seconds or a couple of minutes for people to jump. Hello, Tati Tui. How are you? Hi, mate. I nearly destroyed the place five minutes ago. I was getting so angry with this live thing. He did He did this. Hey, Stal. He did the full, like, and then just sort of calm down for a second. I nearly Alex. lost. I nearly lost my shit. Yeah, you completely lost. Well, you almost completely lost it. But anyway, so what's going on with you guys? How are you? We've got nothing specific to say. We're just testing the live stream. Yeah. So we just well, because you guys were begging us to go live, and um, I was like, I was like, oh well, we need to go live now. So. We didn't plan anything. We have nothing to show you guys. Um, that's good, Lex. But we've got nothing to show you, nothing to talk about, really. Um, so we just we just decided to jump on and go, hey, hey here we are. So, Kev, what are you doing up at 3 o'clock in the morning? Are you working? I popped myself in the eyeball. <laughs> Where are you, Kev? You still on? Oh, yeah, there's someone else on. I've got Lex. We've got Star. Kevin. Are you coming to my place on Saturday, Lexi? He's out of me. Oh, God. I poked myself in the eye, <laughs> which is great. Have you ever done that, Dad? You've gone, like, you've gone to flick your eye and you've just gone, eh. Yeah. So I don't know if people can hear us or what because we're not getting any comments. Yeah. So I'm not really sure what's going on. Sorry, no. You're not coming, Lexi. Hey, Louie. <laughs> hi, hi. Yeah, we've been fiddling around with uh, going live for, what, a while now? Quite a long oh, time. about an hour we've been trying to work it out. Yeah, um, and uh, we're, we're very suspicious with everything, so that's why we're like, oh, maybe they can't hear us or anything. Um, so, Louie, you just... We don't really have anything to talk about um, and we don't really have anything that we can show you. Um, but we just we just decided to get on. I got my new I got a new Marvel t-shirt. <laughs> Christ. So what happened was I was using I learned today how to use the system Hello, o, OBS and we set OBS up and we're going to have it so you could have live subscriber counts and all that pretty shit on the screen. Don't swear and Telstra's, oh, sorry, I'll rephrase that. Australia's internet service is terrible. That Our is. broadband fiber is like That's shocking. Disgusting. So every time we set it up to show it, it showed our bit rate was far too slow and it was running, well, when YouTube did its thing, it told us it was running bad. So we couldn't even fire it up. Every time we did it, it just froze. So um, I can't use Hangouts. I can't use OBE. I can't use any encoder. I can only use the one that's in yeah. YouTube. Ours is super slow as well, Louie, and that's why we can't do that kind of stuff because in Australia the internet is horrible. So, yeah, the only way we can do it is straight through YouTube, go live. Mm -hmm. And um, well, it works, but I would have really liked to have it set up for Jade that um, it had the subscriber count there the somewhere, time. like a live thing with it rolling over every when she gets one subscriber every mm. six days, <laughs> things like that. But yeah. I can't do it. We can't do it. We can't even share our screen. So like, um, no, that's it's horrible. Yeah, unless somebody knows a way while you're using um, YouTube Live that you can actually share your screen, other than pick the camera up and go like this, which is just oh, ridiculous. So look, you can it's see. It's backwards. <laughs> it's probably not to them though. No. Yeah, it does happen a lot for us Teddy Toy Hunter. So like, I don't really want to do Is that, that backwards to you guys? Because to us, when we look at our screen, how to use OBS Studio, I think this is backwards. I don't know. <laughs> I can't read backwards. Yeah, Um. not to mention, it's around about, um, oh, we're just going to put the camera right in my pimple face. Um, not to mention, in Australia right now, it's like 5.30 at night, so everyone's come home from work and school and they're sitting down on the couch um, checking Instagram and that. So oh, it's perfect. Oh, right, okay. Hmm. 
Yeah, so because it's around about 5.30 now, well, to be, to be precise, it's 5.27. But, um, yeah, people, they, oh, wow. 2.20. So you're on the States, Louis, I'm guessing? What are you guys doing up at 2 a.m.? Yeah, that's concerning. Kevin's all probably working. Yeah, because he's got a fantastic job. You're in the States, okay. Yike. Last time I pulled an all-nighter, I fell asleep around 2 o'clock. Do you know what all-nighters are? Yes, Jane. <laughs> Got to check. So, Kev, I'm guessing Louie and I are – oh, you're both from oh, Texas. Sure. You're both cowboys. Okay. Good morning. Good evening from Australia. So, Louie, you'd be able to hook up with um, Kev and go looking for um, picture frames and candles like in his last video. I felt sorry for you, mate. It looked like you were just getting dragged around looking at candles. <laughs> looking at candles, God. It was a cool shop. It had so much stuff in it, but they're all candles and stuff. Mm. Yeah, I don't like looking for just boring things that you're only going to use, like, once. <laughs> what? Uh, <laughs> yeah, bullshit. You wanted to go in there. Candles smell so good, though. They do. Have you guys – do you – yeah, you guys have Lush in Australia. In Australia, in America, America yeah. I love. We have Lush here as well. Um, so we have one in Melbourne. And do we have one in where we are? No, in they're running. Melbourne. They're running in um Melbourne. Yeah. Hello, Judson. Judson. Hi, buddy. How you going? So back to Lush. Once you walk into Lush, it's like you've walked through heaven's gates, and you're just going in. <laughs> So if I could get that bloody OBE thing working, I could have shown you what Lush was. Oh, so you're going to have to get on your own internet and look it up. It's basically um, just a shop that sells, what, bath so, bombs and so candles it, and just shit that no one cares about. Yeah. It, I personally, yeah, it's like bath and body. Yeah, yeah, it'd be the same thing, mate. Yeah. yeah so they hand make all their products, which is really good. Um, and uh, they're not really expensive, are they? No. No. And they smell incredible. Um, so they don't just do bath bombs. They do, like, uh, face scrubs, um, like, moisturiser, all of that, uh, which is super good. Yeah. All the stuff us men really care about. That's a girly store, yes. Well, some men work there. Some men like candles and picture frames too, don't they, Kev? <laughs> <laughs> Poor mate. Yeah, <laughs> So I might actually, while I've got it, do you want to go and grab it? No. I've oh. been teaching myself how to make a cosplay um, helmets and things like that. And I know on Instagram you might have seen a couple of photos of what I've been doing. So before you start walking in front of people. Yeah. So it's EVA foam with contact cement I've been teaching myself how to use. And I was actually surprised how pretty cool it was to use. So I originally made myself this out of, like, the thinnest foam I could find. It's about a mil thick. Well, that's our measurements. And as you can see, it's a little Predator helmet. That's tiny. And I'm th I was thinking about making these little dreadlocks and selling them for people to put on their computers and stuff. So that was my spec model to see what I thought. And I did a few custom little things on the side here. And then I stepped up again. Good for that. Bring her in, fat head. And this is how far I've got. So give me a look. So this is EVA foam. <laughs> oh, as you can see, I've got the little sight going on it. And it's a bit out of... Um, Thank you, Lily. It's a bit out of shape because the dreadlocks are made of rubber and it's like the weight pulling on it's really strong. So it's pulled the shape of the face out of sync. So... Or the mask, sorry. So it really needs to be fixed up a bit. Yeah, so, a bit thinner. Yeah. But it fits. Thanks, man. The funny bit is when I put it on, the predator's got a beard. <laughs> so that's like a predator once he's turned 80. Yeah, so <laughs> gray beard. I've got a beard. I'm the bearded predator. No. But that's yeah. sick. You'll see better, better on video. Once I reshape it. Thank you, Captain. And get it all set up and have more dreads on this side, obviously. And I need dreads around the top and the back. I think it might be all right. It will be, yeah. I look like I haven't slept in about two days. 
You haven't. Oh, Judson loves it, Dad. You can't really see with the mask on. <laughs> <laughs> I better take it off. Yeah, you better. I'd send you one, but it would cost me about $300 to send it. You've got a blind test. So give it to me. Okay. So lots of people have been asking me, no. um, how did I make the laser sight, this bad boy? Hang on, you go. Yeah, there we go. Right? And it was puzzling me for ages. <laughs> I can make you one this size and send it. That'd be cute. Can you make me one? No. Oh. Um, so lots of people have been asking me, how did you make the sight? Because that seems to be the hardest thing people are having. And you can use proper lasers that actually, like, go for miles. But if you hit someone in the eye with them, I don't think you're going to be very popular. No, it hurts. Flashlight, my man. You are right. There it is. So I just plastic dipped it. So it had a black end on it, obviously, because it's a blue torch with a red end. Um, <laughs> and the LEDs in the top, there's about 30 of them. Oh, that, that's a lie. There's probably about 15 of them. You'd love to have a small one. <laughs> right away. Send me send me your um, postal address um, to this email. I just cracked my wrist. How great is that? As you can all hear, Dad's a champion typer. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, Judson. Um, send me an email that address with your postal address, etc. We'll have a bit of a talk, and I will make one demo one and post it over to you, and you can see what the world think of it. <laughs> can you do me a prayer to mask for pets with the small one? What? That'd be cool. You just... Imagine, yeah. Imagine people having hamsters and gerbils oh. that run around with things on. Like Anyway, so back to this. So, yes, it's a flashlight, as Kev called out. And these little bad boys have got, like, um, 20 LEDs in them. So I won't pull it apart because it will make a hell of a mess. You basically just pull it apart and snap all the LEDs out of them. And when you get to the centre one, it's the main join between the spring in the back where the battery touches. So when you break that one out, you have to make really sure you leave the legs in soldered so that's still got its connection. And once you do that, all I did was got, um, I got a bit of airbrush paint called Blood Red. It's a candy. And I just painted, obviously, the lenses, the little LEDs red to give them a couple of coats. Candy red, by the way, is one of my favourite colours ever. It's cool, isn't it? It's um, and I got a bit of foam and put it over the top and plastic coated that black as well. It doesn't shoot the lasers, but you can see it casts the red and it's obviously three red dots, yeah? So, yeah, if someone walked up to me with that flashing in my eye, I'd know what was going on. It was a predator. <laughs> yeah, guys, let us know. What's your favourite predator movie? I loved the first one and Predators. Yeah, you like Predators, don't you? I loved Predators. And another person has been asking me how I did the lenses. And you can see the lenses there. So, obviously, they need to be metallic-y, alien-looking. Um, yeah, the Adrian Brody one, I like that one. It's really cool. It got shit canned, but I, I lots of people it. didn't like it, but I did. Um, so, yeah, everyone's asking me, how did you do the eyes? Because they need to be metallic and alien looking, but you need to be able to see through them, obviously. So what I did was, if you look in the back, I got the cover off a car speaker and I scuffed it up so it took all the black, or most of the black off it, and left the metallic colour. And I just um, liquid cemented it in there, and they're the lenses. So those two things oh, there are just the lenses. <laughs> so that's how you do that bit. And as you can see, it's all just foam mm. on the back. Like it's just black, and I just made a skull cap so it fits in good. But when you flip it over, I'm hoping people think it looks a bit metallic. Oh, shit. That's so heavy. The first one. Yeah. Yeah, I do agree with that, Judson. I think the first, I think with most movies, actually, the original is always better than any of the sequels. And also, I found this on the floor. Oh, one fell out. One of my dreads fell out. Yeah. And that's just 15, who can't see it. That's just 15 mil um, rubber. It's got a special name. It's like highly densile rubber. And I just run the end over a grinder so it took to a point. And then the, um, Dreadlock little pretty things, the dreadlock beads. All I did was go to our local hardware store, and ours is called Bunnings, which looks exactly like Lowe's. I think you guys have. Okay. Um, and <laughs> it's basically your outdoor watering sprinkler, 
uh, connections and you can buy them in a big length and you just cut the shrimp, cut them off to make them look whatever they like. So the first one is, so we're back to Judson. First one is definitely the best one, but I, yeah, first one's cool because it, it, it's probably got the um, best story out of all of them if you call yeah. them a story. But I really liked Alien versus Predator, the first one. I like the way they had to go and prove themselves against the uh, Xenomorphs. That was pretty cool. But then the second one, the Alien versus Predator one, was terrible. terrible. And don't start me on the Predator. Oh, that was oh. horrid. Shane Black couldn't have done a worse job, I don't think. And I know, I think I might have actually be you, Judson, that actually wrote, um, but it's a Predator movie. It's not meant to have a storyline. And I totally agree with you. I totally agree because it's, it's about aliens killing people and wrecking shit. Um, but when Shane Black did stupid stuff like um, the Predator's in the back of the army truck and, and he scared. yells out, is everyone okay? And the Predator picks up an arm with a thumb. Yeah, I just really, wanted to, it's a relatively new one. When was it? I just wanted to lose me shit. I hated that so bad. Yeah. But the Predator, the Fugitive Predator, which is pretty much what I based that off, he's awesome. Can yeah. you get my fugitive present? I've got one. Oh, actually, get the base too, with the battery and I've gone. Yeah, that one. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, I think the um actual predator itself, the fugitive predator, was awesome. I loved it. I wasn't a fan of the other one only because he didn't have the basic body armor and that they usually have. But um yeah, so this dude. Hello, Teddy Turner. He's back again. <laughs> He's back. But this guy. The fugitive one, I thought he was just cool as like his armor, he's got the bronze and that him, so that's what I based mine off. So I built a base for him, as I do with most things. <laughs> and all I've done is like I've built it so he's like I've got to hold it back. So he's like he's in the ship, and he's just come into the ship, and this is like the door. And as you can see, it's just foam with some lights and a few wires and stuff in it. Um, and I put some Lights in behind the door, so it gives it a good glow. Have you found that jungle mud? Don't you forget? So Nobody, I haven't. No, um, I saw it at Pop Culture a couple of times ago. I say a couple of times ago because I'm not exactly sure of the date. Battery. Um, where is the battery? Oh, so, yeah, so sorry, I put the lighting on the back as you can see. So when it's a bit dark, it looks cool. Thanks, Judson. And I also did that. I just Put it in so it was a bit more sci fi ish. I don't know what you think of that. I like it. Flick the lights off, kiddo. Here you take the battery and don't electrocute yourself. Oh, shot, I just dropped it. Hang on. Hang on. Oh, Dad. I oh, didn't plug it in, you just set it on top. So that would be what it looks like in the dark, basically. Yeah. Without all the screens on, etc. Let's turn that one off. Good night. Stuff. Yeah, so in the dark, that's what it looks like. So you can see all the lights. Mm -hmm. That looks pretty cool, actually, because it casts a nice glow on the Predator. Yeah. The base came out. Good. Thanks, Judson Louis. Appreciate it. Right, I crank it up, Jody. Oh, okay. Ooh. Don't try to freak people out more than what you do here on camera. <laughs> so I build bases for all of mine. So yeah. Right, get rid of that one. Please, love. And can you bring yeah. over the one I made from scratch? Um. So I the first Predator base. I decided to make. I actually, um, yeah, just bring that one over, honey. Just watch. No, I'll leave it there. Actually, I actually used a real branch to stand him on. Um, I went out and found a dead tree and cut a branch and manipulated it. But then I thought, no, it doesn't look like a real statue. So then I built my own tree. Can you grab the one in the middle, please, with the uh, skull? That copy is so cool. <laughs> I wanted it to look heaps more realistic and I wanted to test whether I could actually do it myself. So I built a tree out of wire and then sculpted and sculpted and sculpted it until I made that. So yeah. it's the, oh shit, sorry. It's the standard predator the, out of the first movie and it came with a spine and skull which I painted candy blood red, obviously, because, yeah, my favourite colour. And that's the tree I built. Mm. That is probably my favourite um, predator base that you've done so far. Right, so it's, um, I've put, I've drilled a couple of holes in the tree here, and I've inserted nails that actually fit into the predator's feet because they come with pre-made holes. And he just sits there. So he, I know he snapped it off the thing. He just sits there. He's like he's not coming off. Hey! And skull. Where's the skull? Oh, you have a little skull. I almost clicked it right I off. I found a little skull, so I just added that. 
Where exactly did you find that little spot? It came with the predator. Oh. So there's, I'll go a bit closer to the tree, guys. There's the tree. And the vines are basically just string that you run PVA glue over and you sculpt them as you go. And the tree is basically coat hangers cut up and then sculpt the mould used all over it to, and to you make a tree. That is, like I said before, that is my favourite one. That you so can you can make. actually see, oh, where's that? how does this work? Oh, there. There's a nail, see that? But when it's from behind, you don't see that, obviously, because people don't look at it from behind. Yeah, when it's on display, it's not like people go, oh, look at the back. So in Australia, if you go to the pop culture website, they had this pretty much exactly the same. Um, I don't want to over-exaggerate it. I think it was 500 or 600 Australian dollars. So I reckon that would be about, if it's 600, I reckon that would be about 520 US for this. So I thought I'm just going to make this. So You did that all the time. Yeah, so this cost me about $85, including Australian total with the figure. So I really like, Kev, I know I've seen you doing bases and things like that. Have a crack, guys, because I reckon... It's a bit hard for me because I can't send this stuff to America without custom costing me a fortune. But you guys might be able to actually start building these over there and selling them. El Chombo does it. He makes really cool ones. And, like, he's way ahead of us. But it doesn't mean you guys can't have a crack at it yourself because I had a crack at this and I think I've done all right with this one. No, um, I'm joking on a bit of carrot. <laughs> okay. So I reckon we should have... Oh, sorry, I've got hay fever. I reckon we should have our own um, diorama channel, Kevin. Oh, you and Kev teaming up. Huh. Uh, Louis, thanks, man. It, I think it turned out better because I made it myself and, like, I've got the pride in knowing that I spent the time doing it. Oh, you got um, to do it with him. Like, you can go and buy it, sure, and it looks great, but you don't have that sort of that pride you have in yourself to say that I worked out how to do this and made it myself. Yeah, and you can't say to people, yeah, I made this. you got to go, oh, yeah, I bought it off life. Yeah, correct. <laughs> so um, I've got, I think, Bob and Beards is sending me um, a predator he found for me on sale somewhere. I have phone board a paint. I just haven't tried to make, oh, you've got to have a go. Like, mm. I'm arty, don't get me wrong. I do lots of art and things like that. Arty, arty. And I've got stickers to prove it. So. <laughs> um, Should I get some of your older drawings? No, that's cool, buddy. Uh -huh. um, yeah, so I, I'm arty and I understand it, but and I do a lot of um, spray painting of cars and I used to do that and motorbikes and helmets and all that sort of stuff. So I understand paint, etc. But cutting up foam and building, um, anybody can do it. I was so surprised at how... Uh, easy it was you just got to have an imagination and, and I found that like people my friends seen it when I was building things before I painted them and they'd say what is that I'm like that doesn't look right and I'd say you got to think ahead like once I do that and I paint it like this it'll look like a rock and it's so easy just have a crack at it Judson have a go man like you'd and be surprised the good thing is with like those dioramas especially when you're doing like a landscape sort of one if you like if you accidentally mess up on a rock or something, then it doesn't really matter because you can just act like it's been weather beaten or it's a really yeah. old one or yeah, so nothing it doesn't have to be perfect and that's why it's easy. I myself um am very clumsy, as you all know. Um and I'm not an artist by any stretch of the imagination. Um but yet dad and I we have been making a Stan Lee base together. Um, still not finished yet. We just haven't really had time to fit it in. But, um, yeah, it's it's turned out to be a lot easier than what I would have expected it to be. Um, so, yeah, you really should uh, give it a go because it's – you can't really – Yeah, so I think we um, we should start a little um... – Do I? Yeah, why not, hey? Sorry, I was looking you to see if Judson sent me an email. You sort of just went. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. You sort of just like stopped mid and like, yeah, we should definitely do it. Yeah. So Jade, I taught Jade how to make rocks out of bark off trees. Um, and like that, I was shocked when I tried that. And like, you just get a bit of scungy looking bark off a tree. Mm. And once you base it 
in a colour, wash it in a colour and then put another lighter colour and then another lighter colour and then highlight, I was shocked that it looked like a rock. I was just like, people paying heaps of money for these things and I just went and broke a bit off a tree. Mm. Um, but even, even if you don't, like, have trees in your backyard, then you can just go outside and find one, <laughs> just yeah. find a random tree. <laughs> I went, because... I went to shops asking to buy this stuff, like model railroaders, etc. And I just wanted like fine gravel for my Nosferatu cemetery path. Where is it? Oh, that doesn't matter. Um, and they're saying to me, okay, ten dollars a bag, or probably you guys that'd probably be about six dollars a bag. And I looked at it and thought, uh, not paying that. So I went down and bought a colander or a sieve, a little, real little fine one. I went to the backyard and just got handfuls of dirt and sand and put it in and sanded it out, and I got exactly what I wanted in my own backyard. So now I just, if I need something, I go and look in the yard for it. I don't buy it. And our backyard is nothing special. Like, <coughs> well, we have just recently got a, a new puppy. Her name is Willow, and she's at that stage now where she wants to eat and chew. Everything. Oh, she's wrecked every boot I own. Um, yeah, so she's wrecked our shoes. She's wrecked her blankets. She's wrecked Dad's one of Dad's seats that he made for the coffee table outside. Basically anything that she can get her mouth around, she will eat or chew or just completely and utterly destroy. Um, so as you can probably imagine, our backyard is not the neatest and it's not named after... The tree or old movie, Dad it says old <laughs> movie, so I wouldn't know. No, I know you saw it. Um, no, in Australia, um, we have I think you might call them coolers, you, they carry around and put your beer and that in, <laughs> right? They're called Eskies here, mm -hmm. as in Eskimos keep them cold. And the brand name was Willow, so I we named her after an Esky or a goodbye, <laughs> an ice chest, mate. Yes, ice the chest. brand of our ice chest. That I carry my scotch and bourbon and stuff around in is called a willow. So we just named it willow. Yeah, Australians, we have a lot of slang, don't we? We don't, we speak English, but we just, we sort of shorten words a lot. We talk fast too. <laughs> so when I was in Vegas, because I went over for my brother's wedding uh, a few years back now, um, yeah, they said we talk way too fast. <laughs> Um, a major name brand here is Col Yeah, we have Coleman as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. We probably don't use it as much. Oh, not many Australians would have a Coleman as much as what Americans would, though. Do you yeah. think? No, Coleman's not a huge name here, but we've got them. Yeah, so here, big names are Willow. And yeah, so, <laughs> but Australia, because we like to slang everything, slang is like pig Latin Australian style. Yeah. Um, all the ice chests are called Eskies. Mm -hmm. Like cold as an Eskimo type scenario. Yeah. So. so there are some things that Australians will say and only other Australians will be able to understand it. Yeah. Igloo is another one, yeah. Um, and only other Australians will be able to understand what we're talking about because, like, I think if I went up, went up to an American person and talked the way that I do to my friends or my family, they go, oh. Yeah, like. Kev and Judd will understand this. I've been on your chat on um, Instagram and you guys, Sam Man and Donnie and all them are talking and I'm reading what you're writing and I'm looking at it and I'm thinking, what the hell are they talking about? I've got no <laughs> idea what you're talking about. So I just I don't, I don't bother communicating because I think, well, what's the point? I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, you guys, you sort of, I'm a cop. to us, you talk a bit like this. And what are you reading that? What? Oh, I thought you were no, reading this the comment. Is me saying. Oh, okay. <laughs> so to us, because we're so used to, um, well, me especially, me talking to people who talk fast, um, when I hear Americans talk and I'm like, hey, are you still in the same sentence? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, has he Good morning. Good morning, speech fairies. How you going? I've been gnawing on like this little bit of carrot for like the past 15 minutes. She doesn't eat. I uh, don't. Oh no, you guys have got kids. She doesn't eat. She grazes like a cow. She just continually walks around picking things up and eating it. That's Christ. It's a problem. 
crop got a big problem. That's nuts. Mm. That's nuts. So there you go. So I think we're done, mate, because we've got to go. Can I, tell, can I tell them about the current out of the nose story? The what? I'll explain it. So I personally really like carrots with either skin on or skin off. I don't really care. Um, I decided to chow down on a raw one one day. So chow down. Okay. Yeah, I'm chowing down on it. Decided to eat. Fine, I decided to eat it. Um, so I ate all of it. And before I could finish all of it and swallow it all, I suddenly had to sneeze. So, <laughs> so I am a very loud sneezer. If you've heard me sneeze in a video or um, when I'm vlogging, then they're very loud. Um, so don't wear headphones on my videos in case I sneeze. Uh, I get that from Dad. When Dad sneezes, the whole room shakes. Like you can feel the sneeze through the floor. Um, it's that loud. Hello. <laughs> um, so I went to sneeze, a huge loud sneeze. Carrots went. Safe analysis. Yeah. Um, so I sneezed right into, he said it looks awesome, into a tissue. <laughs> this is quick. I took it back to like just look and it was not snot. It was a little bit of snot. But the mo but most of it was orange, so carrot had gone up and then out. Um, felt horrible afterwards, so I'm trying not to sneeze now. <laughs> so uh, that's my embarrassing carrot story. So Kev, I've I've got those stickers for you, and when we do our little um video where we're gonna surprise each other with stuff, I'll make sure they're in there for you to come across. Okay, you all good? So. <laughs> We've tested, <laughs> we've tested the live, and it seems to work because you're on there talking. Um, no problems, pal. Um, we're now going to go, and Jay is going to go live on our Saturday morning, which I think is your Friday night. So it'd be nine a.m. Saturday morning here, which would be seven, 7 p.m. Friday night what? for you guys. I think is the way it works. Yeah. Um. So stay tuned. Um, so stay tuned because I'm going to be going live uh, later on this week. So for your Friday night at seven, for us, I'll be awake. Lol. <laughs> um, he's always awake. Right. Yeah, he's always like. What? Um, so the reason Jade's going live is it's her birthday on Monday. So um, mm -hmm. I think we've got parcels coming for her from people all over the world, and I think she's going to open them and see what um, she gets for her birthday. So Mountain Dew fan, who's a friend of ours who lives over Chicago way, has sent her something. We don't know what it is for a birthday, so she's going to open that up and do an unboxing and see what she can show you. Yeah, so I have no idea what's in that box that he's going to send over. Um, so, and I won't open it until the live stream. So what you'll be seeing is my raw reaction. When is the so you did birthday? Birthday. Monday. Monday. It's on Monday. Your Sunday. <laughs> oh, so we, we'll set up like we did before when you all jumped on and we felt really bad because we couldn't get the live to work. Like when when you had to send a really <laughs> sad emoji, I'm like, oh. Oh, we have to go live. <laughs> and then I was swearing. I was going off oh. trying to fix it. Like um, I was like on the edge of my seat ready to run away. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. So we will schedule it like we did last time that she's going to go live and she's going to talk about her Simpsons Pops and things like that. And I think, Kev, you said today you found some Simpsons Pops, but they weren't the ones you wanted. So she's going to talk about them. So we'll set that up and um, set yourselves a reminder and we'll have a yak. I probably won't be on there, I don't think. You're welcome to if you want. I might run in and scare her or something like that. I'm I'll good at doing that. I'll probably drop it. <laughs> can, 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 I can I tell them about when um, you scared me in my room? No. Can I? No. So, all right, <laughs> I'll, tell, I'll tell the story. Hang okay. on a minute. I got the jaw shark. Oh, cool. Oh, awesome. Which one? Did you um, get the one with the tank and its gob or did you? That wasn't a very good look. <laughs> did you get the one with the tank and its gob or did you get the normal one? Because I had an idea if you got the normal one. Mr. Hopper. Mr. Hopper. I don't know how you do it so well. What do you got? They had both, but I wanted to. Uh -huh. Right. So my idea was if you bought Quint, 
the dude that runs the boat, the orca, and you've got jaws and you put his head in boiling water, he will soften up and you can stretch his mouth open enough that you don't tear the vinyl, stretch his mouth open and let it set, like cool down in that position. You can then get Quint and do the same, put his body, like his legs and his waist, in boiling water. To soften him up. To soften him up, squash his legs together and jam him in Jaws' mouth. And then you could um, put blood and that all over his stomach and around Jaws' mouth and fins so it looks like it's chomping on him from the movie. I reckon that'd be cool. That was one of my favourite scenes in the movie, actually. Mm -hmm. I don't know why, but... It was one of my least favourite scenes. I would have to be when the shark got the dog. I didn't really care too much for the kid, but it's just the dog. Yeah. Do it, Kev. I'd love to see it. Mm. Be, and also for the blood, you can get fake blood or you can always just use your wife's nail polish. Nail polish is the best because it'll harden out and go shiny. Mm. Yeah. You've done a couple of them in the past with your own nail polish. So if you move over... Oh, you'll see the psycho one. You can't see it from there. No, you can't. I tried. Um, so how many of you guys <laughs> unsubscribe from James Charles? My hand's up in the air. I had no idea who he was until today. Hands, feet. Yes, yeah, you can use your own polish. <laughs> <laughs> you probably got it at that candle shop today. James Charles. Look him up. James. He's like the most handsome man you've ever seen. Oh, I wouldn't even call him that. Who is that? Yes, yeah, so I had no idea either. Go well, and look up. It's probably because you, um, most of you guys, most of you were guys, wouldn't I? He's. This is a nineteen-year-old kid, um, <laughs> who wears, who has long nails and wears high heels. Don't worry. Steve and he's worth a fortune. So James Charles, he. I'll break it down for you. So he is a world famous. Yeah, he is the makeup kid. Yeah, so he's 19 years old um, and he's famous, world famous, probably probably now for, <laughs> that's normal over here, probably now for the drama and that that he's been in. So I have been um, researching and I found out that he's losing millions of subscribers. So he started out with, like, he got 19 subscribers. 19 million. He fought with that other chick. Tia or something her name is. Oh. Um, it's Tati. 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 <laughs> right, so to give you an idea, right, this kid is 19. He's um, the most girly bloke I've ever seen. He's gay dad, sorry. Yeah, I know, but he's pup. Like, don't get me wrong, nothing wrong with anyone being gay, but this mm -hmm. guy's like high heels, long nails, makeup. That's um, a good joke, Louis. Just goes off. Anyway, but he's not stupid because really? he's earning, according to Social Blade, anywhere between 50000 and 600000 a month, and they're ranking him in at about $8 million a year. Yeah, so he's – why is he losing subs? So, Speech Fairy, he is losing subs for a bunch of reasons right now. So, in the past, he's done things that obviously – Talk about now. Okay. So – it all happened at, if gay still means happy, I'm gay also. Yeah, yeah, I'm extremely gay if that means happy. Buying candles. <laughs> I'm happy going to Poor bugger. I was, I was laughing thinking he's getting dragged around here. Um, so Do you he, want me to tell him so we can get to the point? Yeah. Right. So this lady named? Tati. Apparently bought, helped this kid become famous and earn heaps of cash. And she wanted him to do something for her to promote her channel. And he basically said, stick it up your ass. I don't want to do it. And then went to a competitor and did theirs. And now they're having a cat fight. And she's on YouTube telling her the world how bad he is. Yeah. And the world, people like Miley Cyrus. This is up for real, man. Miley Cyrus. They're unsubscribing for him. And it's news. I'm going to start wearing makeup and eye heels. You just, oh, <laughs> man, with the beard, you'd look awesome. Oh, yeah. Judson's beard's bigger than mine. Oh, really? Yeah, it's huge. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so he, so I'm not sure if they're rumours or not, but from what people have said on YouTube, I assume that they're true. Because yes. YouTube's always true. Oh, yeah, everything on YouTube. Um, uh. <laughs> I'd sub just to see you wearing the high heels and the nails. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'd sub a million times. But you've got to actually put videos up, mate. I think your channel's there, but you've got no videos. 
Mm. Um, so he's he's done bad things, a lot of bad things. Like he, <laughs> so he um he's obviously he wants a boyfriend because he's gay, um, and he's been trying to convince um straight guys that they're gay, um, which ain't great. Um, so yeah, people are really getting at his throat because of that. He's basically doing the Justin Bieber, Britney Spears, all those poor kids that have been brought up in the media and have no idea what they're doing in real life and they fall apart. Well, this is his fall apart, yeah. basically. So he's lost about three point something million subs in the past five days. <laughs> you do, Judson. Very true. Just just to amuse us, <laughs> just put one video up. Just one. It'd be great. Just you trying on your high heels. It would be amazing. Or a makeup tutorial. Like, try a makeup tutorial. Actually, do you know what I'm going to let you do? No, really. If you, for your birthday, if we actually find this thing you want, I will let you do a makeup tutorial on me. Oh, my God, really? Yeah. I'll let you go live and do a makeup tutorial. So either I'm going to look like Dr. Frankenfurter, or <laughs> you're going to look like a goose for not being able to do it properly. I think you're going to look like Dr. Frankenfurter. Hmm? <laughs> With the eyeshadow palette that I want, um, I think I'd be able to do a good job. I'm not a beauty guru by any stretch of the imagination at all. Um, but, yeah, I think. But I'm, I'm not, I'll clarify this, I am not doing fingernails. I'm not putting on long nails and you're not painting my nails. Um, and I am not wearing high heels, but I will wear a skirt. We're going to no, go, gonna go have to yeah. go out and buy a multicolored tutu now. <laughs> yeah. So Frank and off Rocky Horror, that'd be great. So, all right, I, so I'm going to do that. I actually did once um, transform you into Frank and Bird like four years ago now. I was little. So we need to be very clear here. <laughs> like, look, it started. Fishnet stockings. Yes. Here we go. So we need to be very clear here. This is not a common thing I do, but I have two daughters and trying to be a good dad, I do whatever they want to do. So they wanted to put makeup on me, I let them do it because they're my daughters. But if a chick down the street said, hey, Scoot, how about we put some lipstick on you? That ain't happening. <laughs> Just some random person with a, with a tube of lipstick. <laughs> you want to put oh. some on? <laughs> I've had my hair plaited, my fingernails done. I've had makeup. You've had your beard plaited before. Yeah. Oh, Pennywise makeup. Pennywise makeup. James but, Charles did a Pennywise tutorial. But Pennywise doesn't have a beard. Well, the mailer version of Oh, here we go. <laughs> Louie's on to me. He's like, yeah. yeah, see, that's what, that's what yeah. dads do. Dads are allowed to do this stuff. So, mm. all right. So, cool. yeah, we'll schedule one in, not this weekend, the following probably. We'll go live and Jay here can give me a, do some makeup on me and we'll see how I turn out. Oh, God, I can't wait. Because you've got big eyebrows. Can't wait for that. Yeah, you've got big, bushy eyebrows. You know yeah, what they say about a, great... a man with big eyebrows? Nothing. I haven't heard anything. I was going to say, what did I say? I haven't heard anybody say anything. <laughs> All right, so he is my. He's a great dad, uh, Judson. He really is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm calling weird. Yeah, you... I'm just going to. I'm should... opening myself up for mass ridicule here, and I deserve because I ridicule everybody else in a happy way. But he might. Oh, thank you, Judson. Finally, someone who <laughs> believes in me. <laughs> I don't. I'm shitting myself. Anyway, um, my wife is yelling at us from the back veranda. <laughs> She's waving her off. That it's time to go in for dinner. So we are going to finish this live feed and get out of your hair. Thank you. Oh, yeah, that's true. They yes, do. I let them get away a lot of stuff. Yeah, agreed. That's why I'm so gay. I mean, happy. Happy. Yep. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're um, Kevin Gay. Yeah, happy, exactly. <laughs> happy. In one of the songs that we had to sing um, at school for music, I'm getting said, waved at. Hurry up! I know it said "Gay, your life must be," and yeah. we we're all just like, "What?" And then because my music teacher, she's quite old, she said that means happy. Yeah, that's exactly right. 
Okay. That's exactly right. Candle day. Okay. <laughs> Candle. <laughs> Mine is medication. She's happy though. <laughs> I had that when I broke my foot. The happy medication. That was awesome. Dopamine. Endone. Oh, I forget what you call endone over there. Is it Quaaludes? Judson. Judson. So where's Kev? He's the he's the medical man. So Kev, I've got this stuff called endone. Would that be equivalent to what you guys call Quaaludes? Later, alligators. Don't forget your toilet paper. <laughs> He's not typing. You typing or? Kev, just so you know, we're waiting for you, no one else. And my wife's yelling at me because of you, Kev. <laughs> <laughs> I don't oh. think we have quotes anymore. Hello. Hi, Hi. Hi girl. We just, sorry, we're just about to leave. We're so sorry. Sorry, guys. Yeah, look, I'm, I've got to go. Or my wife's going to stab me in my sleep. <laughs> Again. All right, guys. Legal, let's tell you, it may be, sorry, wait a minute. Legally, it may be a company name for the same, yes. We don't have Quaaludes anymore. Right, I think they're the ones that all the rock stars and that got, well, that we know of, that got addicted to because they're like, they just send you for six. So, yeah, I took one because I was in really bad pain and nothing happened. So half an hour later... <laughs> I took another one, took two, and for the like, next six hours, I was on the couch, and I'd sleep for four minutes, and I'd wake up and just go, oh, what the hell? And I'd go back to sleep. Oh, what the hell? Weren't you, like, trying to do something? Yeah, we're good. How are you? I'm very tired, and I'm hungry, and my mum is still Yeah, okay. we've got to go. Painkiller and anti inflammatory Yeah, it sets yeah. me off. It's, I could be addicted to drugs quite easy, but I don't want to be. No, well, you won't be. I yeah, back in the eight. Yeah, thanks, Judson. and that's the stuff. Yeah. All right, guys, we've got to go. Thank it's you. been great talking to you. Thanks. Thanks very much. Thank you so much for persuading us to go live. <laughs> and we might see you Saturday morning or Friday night. Yes. All righty. See you guys. See you guys. Thanks so much. Bye. I'm hungry. Where's mum? <laughs>